going live. And we're live. Hello, Satnam, and welcome to Yoga Vision. My name is Vanessa, and we have a special session of live with Salima today. Salima is a yoga therapist, and I am one of her recent graduates from her yoga teacher training program. And I will be interviewing Salima tonight, and we'll be discussing numerology. So we wanted to take this time to inform all of you out there about what numerology is and how it can benefit you and take your practice to a higher level. So I wanted to share a little bit about my journey with numerology, how I started um, doing numerology with Salima and some of the benefits that I've been able to notice and receive from these numerology sessions. So thank you, Salima, for having me here. It's an honor to get to interview you tonight. Nice to have you, and you did so great. Let's go. Thanks. Um, so I decided to do numerology sessions with you um, after you gave us a numerology session during our YTT course. Um, and I really felt that the Kriya and meditation that you chose for me based off my numerology was a perfect fit for me at that time in my life. So you chose the meditation for trust and the Kriya for disease resistance for me. And at the time, I would often get a seasonal cold every time the weather changed, I would get a really bad cough and cold. And, you know, this was at the beginning of the pandemic. And, you know, everyone was very scared about coughing and sneezing and all those different symptoms. And I was really scared that, you know, as the season changed, I was going to catch a cold and it could be COVID and all these other things. And after practicing that Kriya and the meditation and the breath work that you gave me, I haven't really had a cold since, which is really amazing. Um, and I wanted to continue doing numerology with Salima because even after graduating, as someone who was fairly new to the practice of Kundalini Yoga, I didn't feel like I was ready just yet to start picking my own um, combinations of Kriya, breathwork, and meditation because there's so many different combinations out there. And it was a bit overwhelming for me. So being able to go to someone like Salima, who's been practicing and teaching Kundalini Yoga for quite a while now, felt really reassuring to me. You know, Salima is very supportive through the 40 days um, of your practice. You're able to check in with Salima. You're able to get different tips like modifications, um, you can check in with Salima about your experiences and different things like that. And for someone like me, who was new to the practice at that time, felt really great. And, you know, after all, Salima, you are a yoga therapist and my sessions with you really did feel like therapy. Um, and I've seen so many benefits from my numerology sessions on and off the mat. I'm stronger physically, mentally, and emotionally now. And I'm also at a place where I can start choosing my own combinations of Kriya, meditation, and breath work. But because, you know, we still have this great relationship, I can still check in with you and, you know, get advice, get tips and modifications and things like that. Absolutely. Yeah, so let's take a little deeper dive into what numerology is for everybody out there. So can you explain to us what numerology is? Absolutely. I'm, I'm, first of all, I'm really glad that you have been having a good experience and that, you know, the practice has covered you in so many different ways. So that's, you know, that's, that's proof positive right there. Um, okay, so let's dive in. What is numerology? Um, let's start with, uh, let's go back. Let's go way back and to the idea that we come here as souls, 
And as a soul, we take a journey and our journey is about coming into the earth plane to develop learning along the way, um, helping ourselves to learn certain qualities, characteristics and attributes. And the, the best way to do that is to take a human form and to live life. So the, the good news is, is that on a soul level, we've chosen everything. We've chosen our parents, we've chosen our gender, our, our race, our uh, nationality, we've chosen all of that. So that's the good news. And that's also, as you know, some of the bad news. And in that journey, we've chosen a specific day to be born on. And the day that we were born crystallizes some characteristics about who we are. And that is represented by the numbers. So, um, so I'll use my birthday, July 3rd. And so it, it, we're not talking about three as a number or seven as a number. We're talking about the qualities, characteristics, attributes of what the third body represents and what the seventh body represents. So just using very basic example right now. And, and those qualities and characteristics are, they stand out. They have different qualities from other numbers or other bodies. And the idea is to really look at how they're placed and in your date of birth, and then to help you to understand what does that mean? And, and sometimes it's a little bit surprising. I kind of knew that about myself. People have said that along the way, but do I trust and really believe that about myself? And, and that's where the discovery happens. I think that's partly the therapy. And based on that information, then it becomes much easier to choose a Kriya that's going to either embellish certain attributes or downplay certain other attributes. So it's a really, it's a, call it an art and a science. So part of it is intuitive and part of it is technically about how the, um, the numbers show up and what they represent. So interestingly, you said that. Um, one of the things that I loved about the numerology sessions and then having the Kriya and meditation and breath work after our sessions was, like you said, it's very therapeutic, but the things that you gave me to work on were like homework or tools. So can you explain to us a bit how numerology actually works? Okay. So what we're looking at is answering the five questions of life. And it doesn't matter how old you are. These are important things to learn and to know about ourselves along the way. So we answer the five questions of life. Who am I? Represented by your day of birth. What am I here to master? Represented by the month of birth. What's my um, gift to the world? What am I coming with as a natural tendency that will help others, uplift others? the last two digits of your year of birth. And then finally, um, what's the minimum I must do before I leave this planet? In other words, um, what's my minimum performance? And that we get by last two digits of your date of birth plus 10. And finally, the transformation number. So how do I transform my life? What are the, what's, the, what's the area that I can move in that will really give me a new spark, a new lease on life, a fresh way of looking at things? And that's by adding all those digits together. It becomes a very interesting conversation because right away when I write down somebody's date of birth, information just jumps off the page. And so that's really, you know, again, that's where the therapy comes in to be able to hear somebody's personal story. So I always sit down and ask what, what's happening and, and what brought you here and what's your connection to Kundalini Yoga and then really draw in on those attributes. And then we, we together come up with the, the place, the goal that we wanna to get to. And then what's the Kriya and the meditation that's going to really map to that and bring about those qualities. So that's really the, the pairing between numerology. Um, that's really what how numerology works. So how can we use it in like our day-to-day -day lives? Okay, so it's very good for, you know, let's say you're in a transition, you've left one job and you're thinking about what, what's the career that I need to go in, um, or there's a transition of some other kind, a relationship has changed. Um, or you're feel, personally feeling that sense of, mm, I want to do more, I'm, I'm a little bit stuck, or I feel a, a, in a dead end, or, um, you know, there's something calling me in the future, but I can't quite tell what it is, 
or I have these two options, which one should I choose? And all of those are amazing opportunities to just get a reset, to remember who am I? What did I come here to accomplish? What's going to naturally challenge me along the way? And where do I have abundance to offer into the world? And then how do I change all of that? So that's, that's really the practical application personally. You could do the same thing with the date of incorporation. So if you have a business, you can do the same thing of an anniversary of a relationship. So you can really map out and, and see what is what is what is the the broadest strokes that I can cover and and how can I most use the energy of of where people are coming together I hope that um, I hope that helps yeah it's very helpful and it sounds like numerology is very transformative which which has been my experience with kundalini yoga overall um, since I started practicing kundalini, kundalini yoga I've noticed a lot of change and transformation in my life and how are the two related how is numerology numerology and kundalini yoga related mm, great question uh, i think about it like if if we understand kundalini yoga to be a medicine that this is a medicine for the soul then then numerology is the prescription so here's the date that you decided to be born, whether it was natural childbirth, C-section, adoption, however way that date of birth comes about. And then here's the trajectory of that life. And keep in mind that you could be a set of twins and you and your twin, though you're born on the same day, will naturally gravitate to different attributes or different ways of um, using those, um, using that that place of mastery or, or using your gifts and talents. You might have different expressions of that. So it's, it's also not a, um, you know, not a way of stamping people and saying, oh, everyone who's born on the first of the month is exactly the same. It's rather to say, here are some natural things that you wanna keep in mind. Here's naturally how you show up at a meeting or a birthday party or a family gathering. This is naturally who you are. Let us um, now start to, tease out and poke around how you could elevate that experience, knowing what you know about you. And it's not, um, you know, sometimes I think, particularly as women, um, people tell us the truth of what they see about us. And we say, oh, that was just a compliment. Didn't really mean much, or you're just saying that. Uh, and we don't necessarily take it in. But as soon as we sit down to have a conversation about numerology, it's very clear because I mean, you and I have a relationship, but for most part, I don't know the people who are coming in. We don't have a personal relationship. So it's very difficult for me to guess or to just take a wild, make a wild compliment. It's actually written right there. So what I'm impressed by, and this is my own experience, is how accurate it all is. And with that level of accuracy, there's so much that we can accomplish. And, and I think Vanessa, you're a great, a great representation of that. Um, so we talked about a, a lot of shyness in the beginning and, and now look at you. <laughs> so, you know, there's, there's the transformation. There's the idea that um, in your date of birth, there was the, there was the potential for being able to, um, to, to display this talent of being radiant and shining and using your light. And where before you might have said, mm, I'm shy, you know, you stand, you go in front and I'll, I'll play in the back. It's all good. That's what I'm comfortable with. And, you know, ding, 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 here's the wake up call. If you've ended up in a numerology consult, it's because you want the truth and you need to know the truth because the world is waiting for you and we're waiting for your gifts and talents. So that's, that's the key. We want everyone to be, you know, Kundalini yoga is the yoga of awareness. And so you need to be aware of yourself in order to really use that tool most effectively. Exactly. And, you know, I agree with everything you just said. It's really helped me step back into my power and, you know, find my true Satnam. And exactly what you said, you know, I tended to be in the background in the shadows but my numerology was saying the exact opposite and I've been able to step up in a lot of different ways and areas in my life and I owe this to kundalini yoga this transformation that I've seen in myself you know over the past two years has been totally amazing 
So we're coming into a new month now. So what does numerology say about the month of May? Ah, okay. So well, the month of May represented by the number five in the fifth body is all about the lived experience. It's the strength to sacrifice what's good for what's even better. So I think all of us on a global scale will be starting to look at, you know, this thing in my life, it's okay. And I know there's more, or I know I can come with better, or everybody else needs to show me better, a level up in order for all of this to proceed. So I think we're gonna see a lot of that coming up in the month of May. This is the, the, the body that um, represents the teacher and a physical lived experience. So everything's gonna be very practical. We're gonna see it, we're gonna feel it, we're gonna sense it. It's gonna happen right in front of us. We're gonna be able to tangibly notice differences. And we're gonna make some tough decisions about what, what is good for us and what's excellent for everybody. So there's that, um, there's a choice point coming and it's going to be on a very, I'll say it again, a very tangible level. So the month of May is really about all of that. And I think we're gonna see that on a personal level. And I think we're gonna see it also on a global level. And, and what an amazing time also to notice um, the change of physicality and to notice what's happening on a physical material plane. I'll pause there. <laughs> you can just, you know, keep your eyes peeled to keep your senses open. That's for sure. Yeah, stay tuned. Stay tuned yeah. for what, what happens. Absolutely. So you just wrapped up um, a series of chakras and um, breathing exercises and meditations for each chakra. So where do you hope to see the numerology sessions go from here? Okay, so uh, great question and thank you for asking. So we're doing this little intro today so that everybody has an understanding of what numerology is, where it can impact, how are, how are those numbers used? And what I'd like to do now is highlight a very different part of Kundalini Yoga that we haven't quite um, spent time on yet. And that is, there are Kriyas and meditations, yes. There, um, all of those work on the chakras and in the background, or even addition to, or maybe another layer of, lots of different ways to think about it, are our 10 bodies plus one. And so did you know that you have 10 aspects? Every one of us has 10 different aspects. And those are that, that's what I'd like to do in the next 10 weeks is to really highlight each of the 10 bodies and give ourselves a breathing pattern, a technique, a mudra, a kriya, a small little practice that we can start to tune into these different elements and really get a sense of how all of that comes together. So in the last series, we worked on the inner energy of the chakras, and now we're moving on to the elements and attributes and environment that we all operate in. So um, a little bit more, uh, a little bit more of a drill down into all of those 10 bodies so that we can really enrich all our experience of what that is all about. So you can join in every week. We'll come back at Thursdays, 9 p.m. Eastern, and that will include a little rundown from me, a little practice with Vanessa and opportunities for you all to leave comments below and to interact with us and, and ask your questions. Now, I, I know there's a question coming, how do I get my numerology session? And you can do that very simply by going to yogavision.com and click on the numerology section. You can read much more about it and then book your session. And, and, and do that for your own inner knowing because once we know what your date of birth is and how it maps out in terms of the 10 bodies, it becomes very clear which Kriyas. And I would say too is that we may have some patterns of choosing um, and, and it's always good to have a little plot twist. So Vanessa, something that I chose for you based on your numerology, you may or may not have even come across yourself. And that's the beauty is what's gonna come here. Um, so not only do I offer Kriya meditation, which is based on, on one of my videos, but also some reading if it's appropriate, some um, creative work if it's appropriate, possibly some diet changes, 
and a little bit of reflecting and journaling to do as well. So this is, you know, this is a full, a full experience of what it's like to work with a yoga therapist and, and also to get yourself in that realm of thinking about yourself spiritually first. So I'm really excited to meet all of you on that level. Of course, we get a chance to interact and spend an hour on a Zoom call together. And because of that, I've met people from Japan, from India, from the UK, from South America. It's been, I, you know, all over the US, it's been really exciting. So there you go. That's and it's been really amazing to see some of the um, clients come into the KYTT program after doing a couple of numerology sessions with you and being one of the mentors on the um, Kundalini Yoga teaching team I've been able to meet some amazing yogis through the numerology session and now you know they're in the KYTT program so it's a great way to bridge into the program as well and, you know, really strong future teachers coming out of the program, just yeah. from coming through the numerology session. Absolutely. I think of it really like a confirmation, you know, there's, mm -hmm. there's a meet and greet and there's an opportunity to really um, study each other and study what Kundalini Yoga is. And then it becomes very easy. Once you know that the direction is true, then green light for go. And I think that's a very exciting experience to feel validated, to be seen, to be heard, and then also to know that the practice itself will give even more than I possibly could. Um, but, you know, there's the, always an opportunity for, you know, good mentorship is really important. And you and Shaliza have done an amazing job in representing what the teachings are two years out, three years out, five years out, 15 years out. And, and that's very exciting to see as well. Yeah, and um, I'm looking forward to seeing what you come up with with the numerology <laughs> <Me lives too. laughs> in the next few weeks. I yeah. did a great job with the, the chakras, so I'm excited to see what you do with the numerology session next awesome. Thursday. Yeah, and you've been great, Vanessa, to demonstrate all of that. We've really appreciated all of that. Your experience as a Hatha uh, teacher, as well as now a Kundalini Yoga teacher, it all shines through. and you know, you have no reason to be shy. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's much, it's much more um, exciting to see you step in than mm -hmm. to step back. I mean, you and any, anybody else who's in that boat right now. Yeah. It's your time. If you're looking for some transformation, I mean, hit Salima up. Don't be afraid to take <laughs> the next step and, you know, step into your power. Absolutely. On, on, on those powerful words. Said that. All right. See you all Forget next time. Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. For all of you who are watching live, much love to you. And we'll see you very soon. Mwah. Thanks, Vanessa.